first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this lesson number two on the topic how many triangles are there in the given figure now we are going to learn model number one so friends don't forget to watch the previous video that is lesson number one so in the lesson number one where i have told you all the different kinds of model so how the model number diagram look like and how the model number two diagram look like so everything totally we have five models and the sixth model will be miscellaneous model so i have taught you all the different kinds of models in the previous lesson itself so don't forget to watch the previous lesson so after watching that previous lesson start learning from lesson number two got it friends so model number two diagram where a, a huge triangle will be there outermost triangle will be there inside the triangle you can able to see multiple vertical lines as well as one or two horizontal lines so we are going to learn the technique how to find how many triangles are there in these kinds of figures so now entering into the first diagram You can able to see a diagram here right so in this triangle our target is to find how many triangles are there in the given figure so friends remember one thing for the easiest diagram you can go with a manual calculation if it is okay without any shortcuts or without any techniques you can directly solve this question manually yes or no just see the diagram you can able to see there is an huge triangle outside so we can say that one triangle yes or no and the second triangle will be this area you can see this this area so this will be the second triangle and similarly this will be the third triangle and outermost we, we have one triangle got it so we can surely say that in this given image we are we can able to find three triangles so the answer for this question will be three easy or not if you go with the manual calculation it is easy but every time in the exams you can't able to see this much of easy question so they usually ask some tough level questions so in that scenario you should know how to solve the question so what we can do here is what is the technique that is just listen carefully friends if they have given a triangle like this just see the baseline this is called as baseline you can able to see the triangle right this is this line is called as the baseline now this baseline is separated into two regions yes or no so this will be one region and this will be another region got it so now what you need to do is put the numbers for this region one for this region two got it so now add one plus two so total will be three so finally we can say that in the given image there are three triangles so friends understood how i wrote this again i can teach you first what you need to do is you need to see the base of the triangle this is called as base of the triangle understood so this area so this area is called as base of the triangle second step you have to see that base of the triangle is separated into how many parts due to this line yes due to this line you can able to see the base complete line is separated into two parts so this will be one part and similarly this will be another part so for each part we can denote by a numbers so this part will be one got it and this part will be two so finally what you need to do is you need to add all the numbers so one plus two so one plus two totally will be three so finally we can say that in the given image there are three triangles so friends understood so this is the technique to solve all the different kinds of question from model number one there are some exceptional cases i can teach you that also but remember this is one of the easiest technique to crack these types of question understood so let me move on to all the different kinds of question in this model number one question number two so here by looking at this diagram our target is to find how many triangles are there if you wish you can go with the manual calculation that is easy for this question but if you go with the techniques you can save more time so first step what you need to do is by seeing the diagram you have to think whether it is model one definitely or not yes it is model number one you can able to see the outermost triangle so inside that outermost triangle there are multiple vertical lines one or two vertical lines got it so now what you need to do in this diagram first see the base which is the base of the triangle this will be the base of the triangle yes or no friends so now you have to see this baseline is separated into how many parts so you can able to see this will be one part 
so this will be another part and this will be another part so totally this baseline is splitted into three parts so put the numbers so one two and three in case if it is fourth part go with number four in case they have split it into 20 parts go with number one to 20 got it or not so now what you need to do is you need to add all the numbers so one plus two plus three so totally you can see six so now we got the answer six which means in the given diagram you can able to see six triangles friends easy very easy if you use this technique so this will be the answer for question number two so in this question number three again it is model number one easy to find because there is an huge triangle and that triangle is split into multiple multiple vertical lines so what you need to do it is model number one if it is model number one what is the technique i have told you see the baseline and check that baseline is separated into how many parts yes so you can able to see this is the baseline of the triangle yes or no so this baseline is split into multiple parts right so just note down by numbers so you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 got it so totally this baseline is separated into nine parts so after writing down all the numbers now add the numbers that's it right so try to add the numbers 9 plus 1 will be 10 so 10 plus 5 will be 15 so 6 plus 4 15 plus 10 will be 25 so this will be another 5 25 plus 5 will be 30 so this will be 37 and 40 45. So totally you can say that from this given figure there are 45 triangles. See how easy it is. If you go with manual calculation without knowing the techniques, finding this 45 triangle takes you more than 5 minutes. But by using this technique you can able to crack the question just within 3 or 4 seconds. So learn the techniques. It is easy. There are many questions. We can start solving it. Definitely it is easy. But only thing you need to remember is by seeing the diagram you need to initially decide it is model 1 or not. That is important. right? Because every model will solve by various techniques. So that's the reason I am saying. So answer for this question number 3. So totally there are 45 triangles in the given question question number four so question number four is most important because here you can able to see it's model number one yes or no there is an huge outermost triangle so inside the triangle you can able to see many vertical lines as well as an horizontal line so just listen here how many base are there in the triangle you can able to see this will be one base of the triangle this area right so this will be another base of the triangle so totally how many base are there two bases are there so first let me move on to the bottom base so this bottom base you need to denote by numbers so one what we learned already right so one two three and four so totally that baseline is separated into four parts so we have denoted by a number there is an another baseline here just listen carefully there is an another baseline here so for this baseline you should not write the number as five six seven and eight got it or some students will make a mistake because at the bottom most baseline they have written one two three four and then after four they will start writing number five six seven eight don't do that it is wrong actually what you need to do is for each baseline you have to start with number one two three you can able to see the bottom baseline one two three four is ended another baseline here for this baseline again start with the number one two three four understood or not you should not write five six seven eight etc so now add all the numbers for this bottom most baseline so 4 plus 2 will be 7 so 7 plus sorry 4 plus 2 will be 6 6 plus 1 will be 7 so 7 plus 3 will be 10 so similarly the top most here will be 10 so 10 plus 10 20 so finally you can say that in the given diagram there are 20 triangles so friends understood the technique do not make this mistake so for each base value that is for an each baseline you have to start with the number one two three you should not continue the numbers for the another baseline that's the major mistake of 
many students so don't make this mistake so for each baseline you have to start with the number one you should not continue the number with the another baseline that is wrong actually most of the students will make this mistake they usually write this as one two three four at the bottom and for the top they continue the numbers as five six seven eight no it is actually wrong for the each baseline you have to start with the new series one two three four got it so let me move on to the another example question yes so here is the next example question so you can able to see it's model number one is yes, model number one because an huge triangle inside that you can able to see multiple vertical lines as well as two horizontal lines so now just check how many baselines are there see this will be one baseline yes and similarly this area will be another baseline and again this will be another baseline so now starting with the bottom baseline put down the numbers right so one two three four five and six right for the bottom most baseline we have denoted by the numbers and there are remaining still two baseline for this baseline do not start with seven and eight that is wrong start with the new series again so one and two got it or not so for this baseline how many times they have split it so one two three and four understood so this is the way you have to solve the question so now add all the values so you can see six plus four will be ten so five plus one will be sorry for 10 15 so this will be like uh, 15 20 21 so bottom total will be 21 and this total right got it this total will be 3 again this total will be 10 so now add all the numbers so 20 30 33 and 34 so totally we can say that in the given figure there are 34 triangles so friends understood how easy it is so finally answer for this question where in the given figure there are 34 triangle so only one thing that you should never forget for each baseline you have to start with the new series from one and two you should not continue putting the numbers to the another baseline got it or not so question number six so listen here this is one of the most important question so this was the memory based question of upsc exam so upsc exam the same question was asked and our target is to find how many triangles are there in the given figure so now what you need to know and what is the technique i have told you just see the baseline right so this will be one baseline and similarly this will be another baseline so totally you can able to see another baseline here another baseline here another baseline here there are multiple baselines so don't worry about it just go with the numbers got it so writing numbers from one two three four and five so bottom most we have five numbers so now for the next baseline again start with one so one two and three got it for this baseline one two and three so for this baseline one and two so for this one and two. got it or not so each baseline you should start with one remember that never forget it so now add all the numbers so one plus two will be three so for this series will be three so for this series if you add it will be six so if you add this number it will be 6 here so now here 5 10 5 plus 1 4 plus 1 will be 5 got it so totally i think it is 15 so now add all the numbers so 3 plus 3 will be 6 12 and 6 will be 18 so 18 plus 15 so total will be 33 so finally we can say that there are 33 triangles in the given figure so this will be the answer for question number six so friends understood it's one of the memory based question that was asked in the upsc exam so if you use the technique solving this question will be very simple so last question so friends, this last question is a little bit different question right exceptional case from model number one why because just look at the diagram carefully where you can able to see the topmost right a topmost here this topmost area you can able to see one triangle yes or no and similarly the bottom area you can able to see another reflection of that topmost triangle at the bottom so what is the main point here is the two baseline you can able to see this area this area where there are two baseline mingle at this point yes or no the topmost triangle baseline and the bottommost triangle baseline so totally you have two baseline at the same point so two baseline at a same point 
got it or not so in this case what you need to do is you need to go with the manual calculation no other way you can put down the numbers for the uppermost triangle right for the up topmost triangle you can go with one and two got it or not i can rub all those stuff see here just see for this topmost triangle we can you can able to see the first base baseline of the topmost triangle so you can go with the numbers one and two got it so similarly for the bottom triangle you can see the baseline go with number one and two so totally if you add one plus two will be three so similarly one plus two will be three so if you add three plus three will be six you should not say totally there are six triangles in the given figure why because there are another two triangle in this diagram can you able to find it because of this line right because of this baseline two baseline connected at this point you have to check this triangle also got it or not just see the diagram you can able to see one triangle here so similarly there is an another triangle here so plus two totally eight triangles are in the given figure so friends got it how i wrote this so listen carefully if there are two baseline connected at the same point you should go with the manual calculation after all the techniques what i have taught you got it so initially you can go with the techniques for the first baseline go with the numbers one and two for the second baseline go with the numbers one and two so totally after writing this number six after this you should go with some manual calculation why because two triangles joined at a point so there is a chances that if you if both the baselines are connected here you can able to see there is an huge triangle formed yes or no yes so one triangle here so similarly another triangle so that's the reason i have added plus two so totally there are eight triangles in the given figure so friends listen carefully there are so many diagrams like this it requires practice only if you practice minimum of 30 to 50 question only from this model number two you can able to solve all the questions in your exams by just watching this video alone you can't able to solve it it requires a lot of practice right so definitely i will give you more practice question at the end right end of all the lesson after teaching all the lesson so but don't forget the techniques the techniques are same but you need to know where you should go with manual calculation even in model number two model number three model number four there are some exceptional cases there you should go with that manual calculation there you can't able to use the techniques the techniques after using 90 percentage of the techniques at last the 10 percentage you have to go with the manual calculation got it i will teach you i will give you more practice question don't worry about it so definitely you can able to solve the question in your exams but again i'm telling practice is required right 50 or 60 question practice is required so that's it about this uh, lesson number two model number one question so thank you so much for watching this video so don't forget to watch all the remaining models so thank you so much for watching it if your friends are also preparing for the exams share this video to them so they too can also learn all these techniques so thank you so much for watching it bye